Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on this video, okay? I want to see what spirit has for you guys, okay? Um, if you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, Leo. I think I'm going to do a Celtic cross. This feels like... There's change. There's something that's like, okay, what now? You know? Let's see. Let's see about this. You have the hangman. There's something here where I feel like you want to act, you want to change things. You have the world here. It's like there's a change here, but there's something here that is stopping you from moving forward. You don't know what it is. Yeah, you have the Knight of Wands. This is wanting to rush forward. You don't know the direction to go in. There is this enlightenment here that's coming. It's going to help you, and we're going to see more when we clarify. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. So you, yeah, and the Knight of Pentacles, again, it's like you have everything you need to go for, but the Knight of Pentacles is not moving. So there's something here that, you know, you're not seeing. You want things that are for you at this time. It's like, okay, what's meant for me? It's like, you're okay with like, it doesn't have to be this, it doesn't have to be this, it doesn't have to be that, but I want to know like, what is it for me? What is for me? Just like, tell me and I'm going to do it. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you want stability. You want commitment. You want the person that this is going to last forever. You want to find your thing, you know, your niche your town and i feel like your person some of you already know what your talent is or like you know but it's like how is this going to be successful how can i like how can i support myself and the people that i love doing this how can i build up this future for myself that is going to continue to build and grow and i can you know, invest more into this and I get more back and then so then I invest a little more and then you know what I mean? Like you want to build something here that's going to last. And I feel like you've never been able to do that before. You have the seven of wands. I feel like in your recent past, you had a lot of people that were against you, a lot of eyes on you, a lot of opinions about every little thing that you do. You didn't confront all of these people necessarily. I'm seeing a lot of energy of just focusing on yourself, turning your attention towards yourself. Okay. And you're, you know, wow. Okay. This is too many cards. I'm not going to take it. But there, this is interesting here. Because you have the devil, you have the eight of swords, and you have the nine of pentacles. So you were very much so in your head, and there were things that were trying to tempt you, but you were focusing on your own stability. Yeah, your own happiness with the nine of cups, moving forward with your life. How can you move forward with your life with things that are going to value? Look, now you have the empress here. So a lot of beautiful things are bent, are like coming for you now, Okay. So spirit wants you to like just chill out because I feel almost like, look at the king of swords here in your near future. This is you being seen as, uh, you know, proficient. This is you getting this public recognition. This could be a person coming in that's a very balanced person. This could be an air sign. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be that is expressing their interest in you. And they don't need anything from you. They're not looking for anything to gain. It's just a lot of clarity on what this person wants. They tell you exactly what they want and their actions reflect that as well. There is a lot of evidence backing this person up that you can trust this person. And that's so very refreshing. So very refreshing. And there's going to be like a lot of ways that you are going to be seen as like um, a master of something here. 
this is what's coming for you here. And that's very interesting because it's like you're so unclear and this is clarity. And this is having that direction. This is being seen. The Queen of Cups keeps wanting to come out. So this is something that divinely within you, this is like a dream that you have and you know that this dream is meant for you because when you think about this, your heart is just soaring. And this is you saying, okay, divine, I'm ready to receive. And you, It's like, you're kind of like, you're in the right place. <laughs> so spirit wants you to chill out. You might not stay where you're the physical location that you're at, but like within you, you're more so right in the right vibration than you think that you are. And so things are going to start to happen here. Okay. Yeah, the five of pentacles here. You're afraid that you're, you know, you're not going to get something. You have the hermit. There could be a Virgo person that, you know, made you feel like you were nothing. Screw them, you know. Uh, there is something here where you were realizing, you know, this person, these past people, they only had power over me because I let them. And I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, look at the chariot. You're uh, out of here. There is something here where, look at this. You have the Seven of Swords now and you have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is very interesting. You know, there's a lot of people that what you're working on, what you're doing, they think you can't do it. They think you're not good enough. They think, you know, all of these things. But there is a way that you're going to show them. There is something here where you're very established. You're very talented at something. And there is jealousy around you. There's a lot of jealousy around you. So we're going to see about this. Because there's people that used to be able to control you and you didn't put your energy towards yourself. And now they don't have that control and you're passing them and they don't like that very much. You have this shadow side and the masculine here. So yeah, th this is something here where uh, the dark night, there's somebody here that is refusing to heal. And so they're kind of acting in this negative energy storm unexpected this person is going to be stopped this person is not going to be able to take over your life yeah there's something here about your thoughts your thoughts become things so pay attention to uh this okay this card fell this ego vanity pride There's something here that you've healed that another person didn't heal. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you're going to be able to be grounded here in this life. And that's why you have the celebration, gifts, and abundance. Yeah. This is very interesting. And this is something that you know. Divine timing and trust. There's something here that you know you're destined to do. And Spirit's like, yeah, you're right. So don't believe in all of these other people. There's like people that are against you. And this is because they're refusing to heal. Um, because it's like this is a person who like they don't think that they, you know, have anything to heal. They don't think that they have anything to work on. <laughs> this is a person that, you know, it's like very evident that this person like, this is a person that like talks so much. There's always so much that they're talking about, but they're never making any changes or never, their life is never making any progress. This is a person that has a lot of unhealthy habits. Now the six of swords, you're moving away from this toxicity. There is something here that you healed and you didn't know for the majority of your life that you needed to heal this. You didn't know that this was a thing going on. You were like, whoa, I'm here. I'm alive. But now you know. And you did, but you're moving all the way away from it. And so this is why blessings haven't happened yet for you, but they are coming because they were on hold. Because when you're around this kind of energy, 
It's not good. It's not going to be good. Your wishes are not going to stay. It's going to be drained. So that's the reason. I feel like you're going to get a whole new set of people. A whole new set of everything. And as you're rising, as you're getting these wish fulfillments, there's still going to be people that are going to come out and say bad things about you. And this is just like not even getting involved because karma is real and karma will handle that. That's not your responsibility to handle any of that. I'm just like not acknowledging that. No response, no comment, just focusing on yourself. Just building the way. Yeah, look at this. This is very important because you have the two of pentacles and you have the star. There is a wish, there is a dream that you have. And you're meant to have this. This could be multiple wishes. That you're meant to have. There's something here that you're meant to embody in this physical form. Here. This is very, very important. So you have to not like fall for this trap. Where your ego wants to respond to the things that they're saying. Don't respond. Don't be triggered. You don't need to defend yourself. This energy, there is no way that you need to even entertain that with a response. You would need to dignify that with a response. You're just focusing on making this miracle happen because you're making a miracle happen in your own life. And this is going to be for you and this is going to be for other people too. And it's going to help people heal because it's going to help them not take this bait. Yeah, with this. People want to accuse you of things and then you respond to these things and it ends in nothing but heartache. Because this is a not healthy giving situation. So you're manifesting a way out of this. This is a very manipulative energy. Some of you have had a lot of manipulative people around you in your life. Like kind of everybody. Yeah, look at this. Kind of all of them. Like kind of, yeah. Like you're at a higher vibration than your whole family. You're at a higher vibration than all of your friends and every person that you know and every relationship you've ever been in. All of this needs to be blocked off. You need to start completely new. And then you have the King of Swords again. So you're going to be seen for this. You're going to be known for this, for the choices that you're making. You're going to be honored. You're going to be rewarded. You're going to get love too. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look. You can't make this up. There is a lot of success to be had for you. And look, are you going to focus on it? Or are you just going to work? You're just going to work on what it is. And you're just going to move forward towards something else. It's like all new people that are just going to welcome you in and they've been waiting for you. And there's a person that's been waiting for you. And there's so much success that has been waiting for you. You have like vines of jealousy all around you. And this person that you're attracting, they're the king of swords. They're going to cut all those vines. They're not going to let any more grow around you because they're going to protect this love. And they're going to protect you because this person, they see you as a gift. They see you as a gift to them to humanity, to the whole world. There is something here about pure hearts, people that have pure hearts that hasn't been protected. They have been in this world. They've been, I don't know. They've been not protected. They've been, bad things have happened to them. They've been drained and other people have taken from them. No more is this going to go on. There is something here about you making this decision to say, if it is not this and this, it doesn't deserve my attention and it's not going to get my attention. So it's no longer going to grow. This is like the vine that this guy's cutting. You know, you're very powerful. 
this universe is going to show you just how powerful you are. The, this this flattery card here this is a very interesting card because there's something here about there's people that now all of the sudden you know they want to come out of the woodwork now all of a sudden after all this success you know that you're gonna have they want to come and it's like you know let them look this way let them look that way it's like you only see the whites of their eyes. They're not true. They're not honest. They're not genuine. But it's like you're going to focus here on someone that's looking you in the eye, on a seed that you can plant and it can grow. All these people, they try to plant seeds of doubt in your own mind and they try to manipulate you for your own gain. And it's like, let them think whatever they want to think. You're just going to be over here, you know, building your empire. And these people, they're going to watch and they're going to see and they're going to regret and that's not your problem. You're attracting a person who is very genuine. This is a person who, you know, they are established in their life. This is a person who, you know, they understand within themselves how to heal within themselves and how to set foot on this earth so that they are respecting all other beings of this earth. You know, and, and there is something about that where you have an experience. Look at this generosity and look at how they look like the same person. All three of these. There is a person that is a giver and they are respected and they have a good heart and they stand on principles and everybody knows who they are. And they've been alone and they've been looking for someone to share in this generosity that wants to help other people, but help other people that are of pure spirit as well, that are going to celebrate their wins with them. That want to live in this new world, right? There's something really amazing that you're going to be a part of. A change in the wind, happy, happy. You cannot make this up. There's a huge change that you're going to be a part of. And this is going to make you yourself so happy and so many other people happy. And look, we have the star twice. And look at how she's sitting on the world. And he's sitting on the world here. There's something like the other counterpart here that you're getting. And look at how different they look. You could look very different from this person. You could be very different. You could have lived very different lives. But each of you, you have this respect for all this world, for all of humanity. And there's something about that. This person and you, both of you, you believe in the impossible and love and hope. And you want to inspire other people to do the same thing. And you're doing that. You're mirroring each other. There's like a quote by Teach Nat Han where he talks about um, you can walk on the earth as if you're like kissing the ground, the earth with your feet. And this is like all creatures, all people, they all deserve your respect and you respect them and you only see the good. But it's like if they're not going to be genuine towards you, OK, you're just going to shift your energy towards areas where it's going to be received. And that's not that's because those people need to realize that they need to change and only they can realize that and then only they can do that. And so this is so much love and abundance. So many gifts are going to be handed to you. Look, she's holding the star in her hand and look how this person he's sending out stars. And that's the thing is that you're going to be giving love. You're going to be giving abundance to other people as well. You, this is something that it's going to be very important that you and this person, it's like a power couple, but the power couple that gives to everyone in the world. This is very important here. Wow. What a magical, magical reading. This person, they're a good person. It's like, wow, what a good person. This person, you can meet them through a friend. You can meet them through a dog. 
Dog barked. Advice from a friend. How interesting. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. I'm telling you, you have a really amazing opportunity coming in for you. Yeah, and it's going to be so good. And the universe wants to bless you because you know what? When you are blessed, you give so much love to those people around you. And there's something here that you're going to do. And it's like you and this person together are the missing components in each other that you complete. So you're, the whole world is going to benefit from you doing well, giving love. Wow. I mean, how many different decks is it saying this? There's something very important, a very important dream that you have. Polar bear mystic. Know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when faced with adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry a shaman within. There is something here about this generous healing heart. You've healed yourself and now you're going to help other people heal. It's like handing out miracles. You and this person, you're meant to do that. Wow. How amazing. Okay, you have Leo here. It could be another Leo. You have Capricorn. There's Aries. There's Aquarius. There's Cancer. Gemini. Yeah, I said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, huh? Didn't I? Doesn't have to be, though. Really could be any zodiac sign. It's just it's a very well-rounded person. It's a very healthy person. You could see, you could meet them um, when you're somewhere away from your home, like a, in an element that it's like this, you're a little bit out of your element, or they're a little bit out of their element. Could be something to do with travel, because I know polar bear has to do with not being in your homeland or being far away from home. So you know, you could be missing your home or um, people here and then you get invited out and this is how you meet this person but trust and divine timing is right under here so this is going to happen when it is supposed to happen when it is the right time here for you what a beautiful blessing i'm so excited for you guys okay this is what i have for you thank you so much i hope that this resonates and if it doesn't you want to like or subscribe then